Welcome to our channel. As always, the most up-to-date news is ahead. Subscribe to the channel, like and share your opinions in the comments, we would appreciate it. So let's begin. Italian parliamentarians refused to attend a speech by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the US portal Politico notes. According to Il Fatto Quotidiano, citing its own sources in the legislature, at least 350 politicians were absent from the joint session. While the Chamber of Deputies was practically filled, the tribunes reserved for senators were almost empty. In all, there are 630 deputies and 315 senators in the Italian parliament. Politico writes that a solid bloc of right-wing and left-wing forces has formed in the legislature. Its members have consistently opposed arms supplies to Kiev and the government's plans to increase military spending. This state of affairs is causing tensions in Prime Minister Mario Draghi's ruling coalition. The media quoted Vito Comencini, an MP from the Northern Italian Party Liga, who called Zelensky's presence at the speech disrespectful to the people of Donbas. In addition, Italian politicians often refuse to accept a viewpoint imposed by the West because of their ambivalent attitude toward the North Atlantic Alliance. Quote. We look at NATO without approval. It was created at a different historical time when the world was divided. That world no longer exists, so perhaps we need to rethink a lot of things, said Nicola Fravoyani, leader of the far-left Sinistra Italiana. That party condemned Moscow's actions but voted against sending weapons to Ukraine. Earlier, Vladimir Zelensky's speech before the Greek parliament provoked a high-profile scandal because two fighters from the Ukrainian nationalist Azov Battalion participated in the video conference 